Hey everyone, it's David here and we're back with another thrift video. I'm super, super stoked for this one because we are going to thrift my Pinterest. Now, I saw this on someone else's YouTube channel and I will link her video down below so you guys can check her out. I'm all about promoting other people, you know this, and giving credit where credit is due. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and link her channel down below. I really, really enjoyed watching her video and it really sparked interest in, you know, for me to do it. So today we are thrifting my Pinterest. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my Pinterest with you guys here and we'll kind of see what I've pinned and what I'm able to go find at the thrift store. Where is my other phone? I got two phones, but I can't find. Oh, one's recording me. Hold on. Plop and squatting. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and screen record on my other phone here so that you guys can see kind of what I'm going to be looking for at the thrift store when I go thrifting. Alright, let's get started here. Well, I'm here on my Pinterest and you guys can follow me on Pinterest if you'd like. I will leave that link down below in the description box. So I titled this board Thrift My Pinterest as you can see here. So I went through and just kind of pinned things that... I'm really inspired by or that I want to look for if I do go thrifting or you know just things I always keep in mind I can always do thrift flips or find things at the antique store or whatever so this first thing here you can kind of see the shelving it's so pretty I love the way it's styled I love the kind of organic feel of the styling and I really like the vase on the one at the top left here, that's actually, if I click on it, that's Jenna Pierce. I absolutely love her videos. I found her almost two years ago now on YouTube, and I recreated one of her Pottery Barn dupes. It was like the stone beads. I don't know if you guys saw that video. If you haven't, I'll link that down below, but absolutely love her aesthetic. It just resonates with me. It's very organic. She likes lots of warm, neutral tones in her home, like wood, stone, very natural elements that she brings into her home, and I love that. So that's kind of where I get my inspiration, is like from her, and she gets her inspiration from multiple sources. So I love watching her videos. If you guys aren't subscribed to her, make sure you are. She's just all around amazing. Well, I love her aesthetic, so anyways. So here we have like, again, the cute little stool at the bottom, the wooden stool. You guys might have saw might have saw my video where I did in the What Would You Do challenge hosted by Zayna and Connie. Absolutely love that stool. I have it over on the shelf here. Um, by the way, I think you guys may have noticed I have a new background. I don't know if you guys have been noticing lately in my videos. I kind of redid my living room. That makeover video is coming out very soon, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I'm not sure when I'm going to upload that video. Just remember that at some point it will be coming out and lots of great ideas that I have coming for you. And the styling is just beautiful. My home looks so different. It feels different when I walk in. It feels very upscale and elegant to me anyway. So anyways, back to the Pinterest here. So let's go back onto the board. So when I start scrolling through, you guys will notice a lot of the stuff is kind of like similar stuff. That's because I like am going for a certain aesthetic. So as you can see here, this beautiful antique coffee table. I love that. I love the styling. I love the styling in that photo. I love the pillows, the contrast, the just everything about it is just beautiful. Um, here's one of those stone lamps. You guys might have saw me do a thrift flip with a stone lamp. So pretty. It turned out so good, but like right there, beautiful piece. But I always look for, you know, the shape. When I go thrifting, if I find a great shape or something like that at the thrift store of like a lamp, a vessel, a vase, pot, whatever it might be, I always keep that in mind. So I'm very open to changing up things that Maybe it has good bones, like structure-wise. That's the most important, I think. When I do thrift and flip my items, I'm always looking at that stuff. So, that in mind. Then I have this organic planter. Actually, somebody made this. I watched the video. It was so pretty. But you could just take any old planter and just smack cement on it. And I've shown you guys, again, in another video, 
I have so many videos that I've done these things. The rattan baskets are just gorgeous, so if you can ever find something like that at the thrift store, just give it a clean, you know, clean it up and style it out. It's ready to go in this umbraria urn. So beautiful, which I've sort of recreated this on my channel as well. I love the wood, kind of antique wood side table situation here. And these drum, so pretty. These, I think they're called drum, drum shape, coffee, wooden coffee table. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I would love that coffee table, but I think the cheapest one I found was like around 300 on Walmart's website. And that's just a bit out of my range. I did get a new coffee table and I'll show you guys in my upcoming makeover video. I just, again, don't know when that will come out, but stay tuned for that because it's coming. And then here I had saved, I pinned this like statement bases and vessels just to try to get like an overview of everything. Just kind of pin all these beautiful vessels in one place so I can just open this photo quickly. Does this shape match any of these? So one of this or saving something like this is really good because you have all those inspirational pieces in one little pin. So I love that. And we keep going again, the wooden coffee table. And I love this like kind of fluted or um, ruffled. It's ruffled edges on this marble bowl. I guess it's marble. So, so pretty. That could be a really unique piece to add in. I love the wood, little stools. If you ever find something like that at the thrift store, definitely pick it up. Any type of wooden stool that you might think would look good, you can always strip it and redo the wood how you want it in your home. I love this. These like organic stone planters I think are so pretty. I love those. And then I saved like this clear candy dish because I think they're so pretty. It's clear, classic. It's never going to go out of style. So if you find something like that, I would pick it up. I mean, you don't have to put candy in it. You can just use it as a serving dish. Maybe you're going to have an elegant dinner and maybe you could use that. Maybe you could store like peanuts or like trail mix, something like that inside of it. I mean, just kind of think a little bit differently than like, oh, that's an antique candy dish. Or you could put candy in it, whatever. Let's see what else. I love these little wooden risers. You guys know I love wood anything or stone anything. <laughs> I also pinned this green glass because I'm obsessed with green. Specifically, Indiana green glass. It's Indiana glass in the shade, like the green color. Okay, I'm just like talking in circles, but you guys know what I mean. You can see it right here. But I love these pieces because they have this like floral kind of element, this floral design that was really well thought out when they made the glass. But like if I click on it, see this is vintage Indiana glass and really that's not a bad price. Like I could buy that if I wanted to. It's just the shipping is insane. So if you can find that at the thrift store, pick it up. I think it's pretty to like pop in green glass into your decor just to kind of break up the warm wood and the stone and whatnot and just add a pop of color if you want. I mean, you don't have to do green. You could do blue or you could do clear or whatever. I just really like the green and I like these kind of elements that the glass shows. Again, I saved some other like cool planters with these like tripod legs or whatever. All right, so Let's go ahead and head to the thrift store. We're going to go to the thrift store and see what we can find. I'm super, super excited. I know I'm going to find good stuff because I always do. I always find just the coolest stuff, especially this store I always go to, Salvation Army. It's my favorite thrift store. They have great stuff for great prices. So let's, let's go. Oh my gosh, I found something. It's like two dollars because it's half off yeah I sort of like this piece
so cold. So there was a lady that came in this aisle and she was literally crotch level with me at this moment. It was this lady right here. I don't know what she was trying to do, but I'm like, hon, I was standing here first. You came out of nowhere. Wow, that is pretty. These are so cool. Seven ninety nine. Oh, they're both seven ninety nine. I like those. Things over here. That is so cool. This is cool. What is this? It's a wall shelf. Three bucks. Ooh, those are really pretty. I love this piece too.
my gosh. That is some good coffee. All right, let's get into the haul. I'm so excited. You guys, I found so many good things. I think you saw a few of them as I was shopping and my cart was loaded with stuff. What am I sitting on? I'm just like, as I was like picking it up going, this is good, that's a good price, blah, blah, And I'm like, oh my gosh, my cart's full. And then I'm like, where am I gonna put all this? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. But I didn't even care at the moment and I was like, these gas prices are just insane right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stock up so I can kind of get through these things. It'll probably take me a month or two and then maybe I won't go shopping, I hope, <laughs> for a minute. I'm gonna try not to just because if there's no point in going out unless it's like for groceries, then I don't see like why I need to be driving around and just wasting gas. So that's kind of why I like overbought. Anyway, so I spent $115, which is a bit much. Uh, normally I wouldn't spend that much, but I went ahead and did it this time. But I got so many good deals and I have to show you guys right now. So let's get into it. All right, so you guys probably saw this the first thing here. I came across when I popped in was this beautiful, the shape. You guys, the shape is just so pretty. I Obviously, I'm going to change it up. Most of the stuff I got, I'm going to probably, probably do some sort of DIY project with it to give it more of that texture that I'm looking for. In the, but the shape of it, so pretty. This was for $3.99 and the yellow tags, anything yellow was half off. So this was only $2, which I couldn't believe. And this is pretty thick too. I'm just gonna kind of go through, cause I can't remember the whole order of stuff. So I'm just gonna try to remember the best I can. We'll just kind of go through it. I found this really neat pot. I thought it was cool. I like the round kind of shape to it. This was $5 and it has this little teeny hole at the top which i thought was really cool normally it was a 20 dollar item but it looks like it was from target not sure what year or what but i again i probably will be painting this changing it up making it look more like wabi sabi style i love this so cool another great item i found was i didn't find like many of those rattan baskets that i really wanted but this one is super cute it has some rattan kind of weaved in there with this cute little handle and I'm gonna have to go through because there's a red mark on it so I'm thinking like darkening this up and like staining it darker and I love this like detail of these it opens up I think this is like for for food I don't exactly know what if you know what comment below but it has these like ridges in there I think for draining something I don't know I'm gonna use it as decor though and put those together Probably line those up so it's facing outwards because I like the detail, the little cute handle. But I think I'll stain this. Could store something in there. Put a little flat bottom, you know, so stuff doesn't fall through. I mean, you guys have to just think outside the box a little bit. This was $3, but I thought that would be cute for shelf styling on top of some books or something. And then you guys, I found this cute little piece. Oh my gosh. For $3, I couldn't pass it up. The shape of it, the handles, this is stunning. And I like the like silver on there. This is definitely an antique piece, like antique china dishware. Uh, I actually wanna see where it was made originally. It is fine china. It's made in Japan, but it's, it's literally fine china harmony house. I will show you that here really quick. But again, I'm loving the like subtle floral detail on there this is so pretty i'm gonna take the tape off. so i'll just clean this up and probably style this like that and put that up on a shelf oh my gosh love that then i found i found these cute little vases i don't know if they're antique or not um i don't really know but i don't really like the weird crackle so i'm probably gonna paint these and make them because like the crackles just not I don't know I don't like this at all but I will paint them and make them pretty and they do go together I guess they were only a dollar a piece which I thought was a pretty good deal love the little handle detail super cute and then I end up actually finding a beautiful candy dish and I love this it's so so pretty it's stunning look at the bottom of it the detail on this this was $3. This has got to be 
you know, worth something. I don't know if this is straight up glass or if this is crystal. I'm not really sure. I don't know exactly. It's really heavy though. So pretty. I think it's worth $3. I love this. All right, another cute little pot I came across was this one. I love the shape of it. This is not very sturdy, which I'm totally fine with that. It was originally at TJ Maxx for $8, so that's cool. It's like this hard plasticky feel, which is like gonna be perfect when I spray paint it and kind of redo it. Or you could leave it red. I mean, you like that. This was half off of four, so it was only $2. $2 for this one, so worth it. And then I found like another one that's very similar in shape. It has that same kind of round and it has these beautiful ridges, which are gonna be really fun when I redo this. This was $3, made in China. So this will be fun to redo, or you could leave, this is a neutral color, you could leave it. But I'm going to redo this. And then, you guys, I came across, like, a fluted shape, which you guys saw in the video, for $3. I thought that was so cool. I actually really don't mind the, like, metal coppery, because I said I was really in to the coppery metal tones and the bronzes. And this would be a really nice touch just to pop in. I think this is for food, like, for baking. I don't really know. Like, maybe for an acorn squash or something. I don't know. It has this, like, thing on it. This little, like, I don't know if you guys know what it is usually for, but it was in the cookware section. But I'm like, okay, I could use this as a little vase or pot, you know, just sitting like this. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it or not. I don't know. Let me know down below what you would do with it, like, to change it up or leave it alone. I would love to know your thoughts. I kind of want to leave it and just style it like this. And then I did actually come across these tripod looking things. They are not, they're not really like planters. I'm not even sure what it is, but I found this one, which again, I love. I like this detail and the coloring of it is so cool. It's just stuff you can't find nowadays at the store. So I'm like, I love that. Is It was only $5. It has this lid on it. So I'm thinking like if I just take this off of it. Okay, so here's like the lid. And I figured just use the base and put like a plant in this. And this would be holding the plant up. That would be really, really cool, right? So here is that piece with the beautiful legs. I wasn't too sure what to put in here. I'm still not really sure. But I recently got this beautiful plant. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Literally, look, it fits right in there. So I could just take this off by simply here let me do it really quick and it fits in there perfectly but i just don't know if i like it plus i really don't want my cats to be messing with this i was thinking more of a plant that goes like straight up and not super dangly i could put like a pole or something and wrap these look it's fallen off already so that they're going more upward i love that i think it'd be so cool as a plant stand just don't know if I like this one. So I will kind of figure this out and update you guys later on what I end up doing. But this is this is nice, you know, as a plant stand. Just repurpose this as a plant stand. I gotta find a big enough pot that would go in this or like the right shape. And then here's the other one. Um, I don't really like those green leaves, but some of them already broke off as you can see. So, and the <laughs> one's actually sitting in here. These are glass, I guess, because one had shattered or something in the box. I could pop these off and reuse these for another project. I would just take the glass bowl out of it and put a planter of some sort sitting in there. Okay, so that was fun. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back into the haul. So I also came across this pot I thought was so pretty. The shape of it is really nice and like I could totally add in a few handles. I'm thinking doing four handles on this one. This was only $3. I don't like the color at all. It's like hideous, but I'm like, I could definitely redo this. Okay, I also came across this kind of cool looking candlestick holder, but it sits like this and it'd be fun to put little skinny handles in here. It's just a really whimsical, organic look. 
I don't have any candlestick holders that look like this, but you can never go wrong with this. And this one candlestick holds two, so I thought it was cool. It is bent a little weird, so I'm thinking just like, if I could just... Apparently I cut myself in so many places all over my hand on that glass piece. I have like three cuts, what in the world? So this was $2. I don't mind the silver, but I'm thinking like maybe spraying this black I think would look better. Matte black. I think that looks so much better. I also came across this cute little, what is this? Little like vessel or pot. It was $3. KB was whoever made it. The coloring is not terrible, but I think I'm gonna change it because this color doesn't really match my vibe. I'm just not sure what colors just yet. I'll kind of get some inspiration based off the pictures that I showed you earlier that maybe I could go in like with some browns or something like that. And you guys, I came across this vintage Indiana glass, I swear. I couldn't believe it. And it's a huge bowl. But look at that, the detail on the edges, it's this giant flower, so pretty. This was $6. Look at the detail on the bottom there, and it's like, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Beautiful piece. I love this giant bowl. Oh my gosh. $6 was a great deal. I probably would have paid $20 for this. I love it so much. It is so, so pretty. I'll clean this up and leave it as is. Love it. And then I also came across this, like the florals of it was just so pretty to me. These muted, like mums. Look at these lilies in here. Love that. I love the muted kind of look to this. I think it's so cool and pretty. This was half of five, so $2.50. I'm gonna take all the florals out and probably use them in like a wreath or something like that. Maybe for like fall time is what I'm thinking because I the muted colors. So we'll see what I do, but that's what I'm thinking is like taking this apart and then reuse this thing for something else. Or you could just set that like it is, set it down inside of a larger vase. Let me just give you an example, like set it down in something and then you have like an instant look. The next thing I got, <laughs> another vessel. I got so many pots vases and vessels oh my gosh so this is like a hard ceramic piece i thought it was worth five dollars it's normally fi was fifteen dollars from pierre one imports and the brown is actually really pretty i don't mind it at all it's deep rich brown you could totally change this but i'm probably not going to i'm probably just going to style it with some beautiful florals the shape of it is nice. You could always add handles or something if you wanted. Probably not gonna do that though. And then I also came across this wooden, like I guess it's a shelf that you hang up on the wall. But I thought it'd be really cool to turn this into a wooden riser. So just like set it on the shelf and put something on it. I love the tone of it and this how it's weathered. It has some weathering to it. The color's so pretty, so I'm like, I have to get that. Like, it's only $3, not bad at all. And then if I ever get bored of it as a riser, I can use it as a shelf or whatever. I can always add legs, little teeny legs to this to like, you know, give it more of an aesthetic. And then, oh my gosh, look at this giant, beautiful piece. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I found this giant lamp I love it. It's so, so pretty. Let me rephrase that. The shape of it is so, so pretty. Look at that shape. It's just gorgeously shaped. Like, are you kidding? It was $15, which I think is a bit pricey for a thrift store lamp, but this thing is heavy and it's like definitely old with this like kind of, look at that. I did actually add a new piece on to the top here. The other one was like wobbly, so I just took this from an old lamp that I had in my craft room, popped it on, and it's now more sturdy. And then it came with this um, wooden like finial on the top, which I actually really like. I think that's going to go good when I transform this baby. I'm so excited to do that. And add a really beautiful lampshade. I'm thinking like doing a tapered one that kind of comes out like this. I think that would look so good with the shape of this. And it has the original brown cord, so you know it's old. Found another lamp that I really enjoyed the shape of it. So this one was so pretty. Again, it has that like really nice shape to it. 
The color is not my favorite, so I probably will switch that up. This is pretty sturdy, and it does have, have this little finial, just a little gold piece, which is fine, and then just add in a little lampshade, and it has one of these switches, which, it, you know, I don't mind that. I did test the both these out, and they do work just fine. This was only $6.00 for this lamp, which is not bad at all. Okay, so I'm kind of debating what I want to do with this lamp. You guys, I literally just found this shade in my craft room and popped it on, and I actually really like it with the lamp. I think it looks good with this orangey color. This could be a designer lamp. It looks so, so pretty. I'm not really sure if I want to change it now, because I do like the orange with the white. It has a nice contrast. It's a muted orange. It's nothing crazy. It looks like a designer lamp. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. So I'm kind of debating like what I want to do with this now. Because I was going to spray it white. Maybe add a bit more texture. Because I do like this kind of texture that it has. I was thinking just adding some more and do it white. But I think if I do it white, this vintage lampshade is not going to look right because it's an off-white. It's like a cream tone. It's going to really clash with this off-white cream color. Almost like dingy, kind of dingy look. I don't know. But I think it looks really, really pretty with the orange. So I'm not sure what to do now. Leave a comment down below what you guys think I should do to the lamp. Uh, if I should change the color up or not. Because now I'm liking it once I pop the shade on. At first, I did not like it at all, and I was about to just change it, but then I put this shade on, and I like it with the color of the lamp. So I don't know now. I did come across a stone planter, which I was surprised to find. It's fake stone. I don't know what it's made of, like plaster or something or resin. This was only $5, but it does look very organic and it looks like real stone. And it is like a planter. And I'm like, this is awesome. I have to get this for five. And it comes with this fake floral, which I don't actually mind this at all. I think I'm going to probably change it out though or add something to it. I could always add in a real plant and drill. I have a special drill bit. I could drill some holes or a hole in the bottom and actually use this as a real planter. So how cool is this for $5? You cannot find this like maybe you could find this at the store. <laughs> and I came across in the dishware section this old, what is this? The Pampered Chef family collection I don't made in the USA I think it's like for your oven to cook something in it it's a little like worn and kind of gross I'm gonna try to clean it up the best I can but I love the color and I actually like a little bit of the rustic wear and tear on it it just adds character to the piece for four dollars I'm probably not gonna use it for cooking though I was thinking using it to put one of my plants as the saucer of the plant how pretty would that be? So, you know, just put the plant, plop it down in here. $4, that's actually a good deal. And this is like, it's definitely heavy duty. And then I got some other glassware. I found this really cool shape for $3. I'm going to obviously redo this. It has a nice kind of rounded off shape. I was thinking adding on like some handles or something. We're almost done here, so bear with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. And if you are enjoying this, make sure you give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I post all kinds of home decor related content throughout the week. I don't have a scheduled time, so it's kind of like... I used to do Tuesdays and Fridays, but now it lately it's just kind of been whenever I have the time and just... Here's a video. So let's get back into the haul. Another piece I found was this and it has this really cool lid. This was $4. Okay, when I look at this, I just see I could paint this in the shape again. It's really similar to a lot of the shapes that I keep finding. So I like the lip detail here and I actually like the lid to this as well. So 
we'll see what I end up coming up with with this baby. This one is made in China. That's all it says. But yeah, gotta get rid of these these paintings on there. They gotta go. Bye. And then this really pretty piece. I don't know if this is a candy dish or what. Or what. It looks like it's made of some kind of glass and... I don't know, but it's that bronzy, coppery tone that I was just talking about that I really, really like. This warmth, so, so pretty. Look at the detail on that piece here. Almost looks like, um, like the circus with the stripes in this. Looks like a circus tent. This was $3. Oh my gosh, was that it? I have one more piece. This beautiful piece, which was just screaming at me like oh my gosh david put me in the cart so i had to it was only five dollars and it has these really cool winged handles love those that really really cool i don't like all this so i will be changing this probably making it look more like stone or pottery or whatever and then get rid of the lid i'll probably remove that this was hand painted in china so again five dollars for this so so pretty love this piece all right guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video let me know and if you guys enjoy this video make sure you are leaving a thumbs up share the video with your friends and family and i and i encourage you to subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video i forgot I to show you one last item i did pick this up for four dollars i thought it was cool i don't know what i'm gonna do with it or if i want to change up the color I kind of like the yellow, I just don't like the brown. Oh my gosh. Stoneware in Japan. But I think it's really, really nice. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. So I'm going to have to come up with some ideas. I forgot to mention to you guys that if you want to see any of the thrift flips from today's video, stay tuned because this Saturday is the thrift flip road trip challenge. So stay tuned for that video. I'm so excited for you guys to see what I make. All right. I'll see you in that video. Bye.